Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Chances are if you're here today, you're fed up of getting in a tangle with your cords or your ropes. And I am going to show you exactly how to make a neat bundle like this. And the beauty of this method is, with this little bowline knot on the end, you can just pull this and it will unravel as you go. And you'll never have to worry about getting in a tangle again. The only slight downfall with this one is at the very end of your cord, you will have one, two knots to untie here, but they're very easy, and here, but they're right at the end. They don't really cause you any problems. So let me show you how we do it. First off, you want to try and chuck your cord relatively neatly up one end and on the other end you want to tie a bowline and what I do is I tie it and then I burn the end and just glue it together like that. One it stops it fraying and two it just secures it nicely and it's easier to see. Uh, we'll come back to that at the end. So let me show you on the other end how I tie that. Okay so you get a piece of your cord And make a loop like this and then get your tail end come up through this hole around this piece back through your hole pinch these two together and pull it and there you have it and then what I would do is just trim that off there burn it and that's nice and solid but I'm going to untie this one because I've already got one on the other end So, now you've got your bowline on the end, it's really easy. Stick this over your little finger, like this, and what we're going to do is wrap a figure of eight around our little finger and our thumb. Make sure you keep it nice and tight as you're going and try and keep these as neat as possible while you're going and I'm just going to speed this up now you've got the idea keep the same pattern going all the way and then what we've got here we've got about a foot to 18 inches left on the end. Now what we want to do is bring down our middle finger, bring the cord over the top of it, and this bit's a little tricky. You want to poke the tail end through the palm of your hand and out at the bottom like this. And then back over the top and through under where your middle finger is. And this creates a half hitch. So then take your middle finger out and we can crank that up. Now when you crank this up, you want to crank it up towards one side. So you want to favour one side. Now that's nice and tight, what we're going to do is we're going to loop in the opposite direction to what we've done the half hitch. And we're just going to loop around and around and around. So you just poke it under by your palm and pull it out the other side. And when you're going round like this, pull your loops up to each other, and pull each one tight. And just keep going until you get to the end of your cord. Just pinching it up nice and tight every time you do a loop. And then when you've got a little bit left, just back it off to open up the last loop, feed it through underneath like this and then just crank it up. Now you can slide out your little finger, you can twist out your thumb and look at that. Beautiful. And now when you're ready to use this, another reason for burning this to make this bowline obvious. It's nice and easy to find because it's got that scorch on it. 
Now when you're ready to use this, all you need to do is stick your finger in there, pull it, and it'll all come out like I showed you right at the start. So there it is. Remember if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more handy stuff like this, subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out. Let me know what you think, leave a comment down below. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.